Hey, a large, brightly colored spider, originally from Asia, is popping up in more and more backyards across the southeast, including right here in our region. It's called the Joro spider, but is it dangerous? Well, have no fear. Leah Bowling is here to talk us all down from the roof. How about that, Leah? <laughs> That's right, David. Have no fear. The Joro spider isn't dangerous, but that doesn't mean I'm not freaked out by it, especially how huge it is. I spoke with a local biology professor who's been studying this species for years. The Joro has, when it's fully mature, it has this big red patch on its underbelly, um, and it tends to have striped legs, black and yellow. Dr. David Nelson is a biology professor at Southern Adventist University. He's part of a team of researchers who have been studying the Joro spider for years. He says their population is most prominent in the southeastern U.S. and they can grow up to the size of your palm. They're from Asia. Um, South Korea, Japan, China, um, our, Taiwan are the main kind of places that you would find them. Our population looks like it came from China. They were first documented in the U.S. in Georgia in 2014, the Chattanooga area in 2021, and they're here to stay. Their population growing because females typically lay at least 100 eggs during their one-year lifespan. So if they're invading your porch, how do you get rid of them? Pretty much any kind of pesticide that you spray on them, like a black flag that you would buy at Lowe's or something, it's going to kill them. So if you want to get rid of them, um, you can. There's no need to kill them. Dr. Nelson says they're not dangerous, they don't pose a risk to people or pets, and their bite is no worse than a mosquito's. Risk of being bitten is really, really minimal. Um, if you touch them, uh, even if you were to walk into a web, that spider's gonna run away or drop out of its web. That's its first response. He says they are invasive since they came from a different area and seem to have an effect on our local ecosystem. Uh, where it looks like the longer they've been established in an area, the fewer native species that we see. Although we've been doing that study continuing for, uh, this is our fourth year going on five, and uh, we'll see if that continues or not. Now, there is a possibility that Joros could do some good for our environment by eating other insects, but what happens to the natives? That's what Dr. Nelson says they're continuing to study. David, Cindy, back to you.